Man, it's like Christmas got pushed back to the 29th. Hey internet, I'm Steve and this is Raffo. We've all been waiting since Monday to hear what Brandon Sanderson, and by extension his company Dragonsteel, have been doing for the past year, as well as whatever sneak peeks we may be able to glean. If you haven't read it yet, the state of the Sanderson for 2022 is finally up on his website, and if it's not up already on his YouTube channel, it will be soon. There's honestly not a lot of information that is really new. We all knew that most of this past year has been spent on secret projects, Lost Metal, Defiant, and then Stormlight 5. However, we do finally have a title for that last one, Knights of Wind and Truth, which is way better than Kaladin always wears teal, or Knights of the Wound Table. The bulk of the state this year was just Brandon ranting about the stranglehold Audible has on the audiobook industry, as well as his efforts to encourage more competition in that market. For those of you who got the audiobooks of The Secret Projects, next year they will not be available through Audible. For a while, probably. Instead, you'll be able to download those files directly or stream them through Spotify, which is breaking into audiobooks, or a new and intriguing option, Speechify. Originally developed for people with dyslexia, it's a text-to-speech reader that, looking through their website, seems pretty awesome. Hi, Look at I'm all I'm those I'm voices, I'm and I'm languages, I'm and I'm Snoop Dogg. Reading is hard. In terms of what we can look forward to, we obviously have a lot coming next year. Ebooks and audiobooks for the four secret projects will be available on midnight, January, April, July, and October 1st, with the public release on the 10th or 11th. Due to supply chain issues, as is really not surprising, the deluxe hardcovers from the Kickstarter will be sent out during the whole month they're released, with the public versions available three months after. On every month without a secret project, there will be a swag box sent out, which I will be doing unboxings of, so subscribe. Starting with the Hoid box in February. It sounds like these swag boxes may also be available for purchase after the Kickstarter fulfillment, so if you missed out previously, you may still have a chance to pick them up. Of course, the 2023 Dragonsteel convention will coincide with the release of the final Skyward book, Defiant. The last con was amazing. I met a bunch of other Cosmere content creators. Katie Payne, That Cosmere Chick, But You Could Be Fire, ADHD Projects, Darcy Cole, Stormlight Memes, The Sandersonian Institute for Cosmere Studies, The Sanderlanch Podcast, Lost Legends of Scadriel, Argent of the 17th Shard, even Daniel Green. The panels were awesome. The vendors were incredible. Hoyd's Secret Museum by the Inventor's Guide was nuts. We've already got a couple things out that some of you may not know about. The White Sand Omnibus print versions are still being produced, but the ebook is actually already available on Dynamite's website. According to Joff Wu and Isaac in the state, it's excellent. We may also eventually get a revised prose version from Brandon, likely another Sanderson curiosity. Also, the audio stories of Moonbreaker are being released, which is the video game that Sanderson did the world building for. These are written by Dan Wells with a full voice cast, including Matt Mercer. And while it's not out yet, at least coming soon is a new Dark One audio exclusive available in January. Pre-orders are open right now. On Audible, so there's that. Basically a prequel, it's staged as an in-world true crime podcast. Should be interesting. A new edition of Legion is coming soon, this time marketed as a mystery. Dan and Isaac are both working on Cosmere novels, though it may be a minute until those are ready. And the main thing we all were waiting for, Hollywood news. Yeah, there's nothing. Or at least nothing that we can be told about yet. The rest is basically an introduction to Dragonsteel as a company. The Queen of Dragonsteel, Emily Sanderson. Editorial, with Peter and Karen Alstrom, plus a few new additions. I met Betsy while volunteering at Dragonsteel Con, and she's delightful. She's basically the reason why I have this picture with Peter. Merchandise and events with Kara Stewart, who from what I hear is essentially the reason why Dragonsteel is where it is today. The cons and swag and everything would not exist without her. Ask anyone. Operations with Matt Hatch, originally of the Dusty Wheel podcast. I actually interviewed with him a couple times while trying to get hired by Dragonsteel. He's great. Publicity and marketing under Adam Horn. He was who I contacted to get the Sanderson baby pictures back in my very 
very first video. I also met Octavia at Dragonsteel Con, who is Brandon's new social media specialist. I applied for that job, got pretty far, and it absolutely went to the right person. Dan Wells is the head of a new department of one, VP of Narrative. And Isaac Stewart has a gaggle of incredibly talented artists in the creative development department. I got to hang out with Ben McSweeney and Haley Lazo at the con too. Guys, come to Dragonsteel Con next year. It's gonna be amazing. I'll hopefully have at least two more videos out by the end of the year, before I jump headlong into content for the Year of the Sanderson and Secret Project number one. Coming in the next couple days will be an interview with Carly Kelstrom, the force behind Dragon Woodshop and the creator of the Night Radiant coin displays. Eh. Which you need to order by December 31st at 10 p.m. Eastern Time or lose your chance forever. I'm still kicking myself that I missed out on those Stormlight Archive tarot cards. Then we'll have a special Lost Metal Cosmere Connections video. The gloves are off, people! And then hopefully something condensing everything we know about the first secret project. I'm gonna be busy. If you like my content, please like and subscribe, and consider supporting me on Patreon, where you can watch my new videos up to a week early as well as get access to my research notes, upcoming scripts, and get fancy name colors on my Discord, which everyone should join also. Huge thank you to Doug, my highest of patrons, both in esteem and monetary commitment, and everyone else who supports me in that way. We've got a huge year coming up, so everybody get ready to read and find out.